Welcome to the Omega Union channel and today we are going to explain how to design primers using Benchling. Um, so we have here our plasmid where we are going to clone the gene of interest and here we have the sequence of the gene. You can find your sequence in the NCBI page. You go there, find it by name and copy this code. Then you go to Benchling, click on create, DNA sequence, new DNA sequence and import from database. You paste the code and once the information is shown, you click import. Um, so let's start. We are going to use two restriction enzymes. Um, they are NHE1 and ECOR1. So let's go to the digest tool and then we type the name of their enzymes. NHE1 and ECOR1. Once you have them selected, um, they are highlighted here. Um, now there are some things that we have to consider. Um, we are going to work in this space, this part of the code, and it must be downstream this T7 promoter and the lag operator, and also the hit stack. We don't want to work over important elements. The next thing to consider is that the enzymes must not cut within the region of the gene. So we don't want our gene cut in half when we are working with our product. So let's start annotating or finding the start and stop codon. As you may know, the start codon is ATG. Here we have it. So let's make an annotation. Click create new. Uh, put a name. I'm gonna put a start. Click save. And our stop codon. TAA. It's one of the three stop codons. Um, create annotation. And put also a name. Stop. Uh, once we have our annotations created, let's start on making or designing our primers. Okay, now let's work on our forward primer. Uh, let's select 20 base pairs from the start codon. And right click, create primer, forward. Select primer pair. Um, okay, here we can see the melting temperature the GC content and the length of the primer. I realize that the length of the primer must be 20 base pairs. Um, it's the ideal size when creating or designing primers. So another thing to consider is the 3 GC clamp at the end of the primer. So let's find a more suitable side here, like this one. or bear this one um, sec from selection forward and as you can see the GC content is 60% and if you remember we were using these two restriction enzymes so let's use the first one NHE1 copy the sequence and paste it there. Here we need to add a later sequence, it can be any nucleotide from 4 to 5. And let's add this and I'm going to increase my overhang. Okay, my forward primer is done, now let's work on the reverse primer. Select 20 base pairs. Again, 
and second front selection reverse uh let's find the second restriction assignment and it's eco wire one copy the sequence and add the leader sequence here is my hover hang and let's give the name primer forward and primer reverse let's choose a folder and select save primer pay and now let's um, create a PCR product and it's done we have our fragment or PCR product and I'm going to use the same tool of digest select make sure you have selected the the two restriction enzymes and run a digest so we have here our virtual digest okay now um, I'm going to my P20A plasmid and I'm going to create an assembly so click here assembly wizard and create new assembly Select digest and legate and start. Okay, select the backbone and go to uh, the restriction enzymes. You select the first one, hold shift and select eco R1, the second one. Right click and invert selection. So we click set front selection and looks like everything checks out. So we can go to insert, go to the product and select from the NH1 to eco R1. Set for selection and looks like everything checks out. Uh, hit done and let's give it a name. Click assemble. And it's done. Remember that we created annotations for the start codon and the stop codon. So we have it here. Stop codon. And this is the fragment of the gene of interest that we wanted to clone into the plasmid. And this is how you can design primers in Benchlink. Thank you for watching.